Hello, everybody. Hey, Marsha. Uh, I can't even read. Oh, I know you're stopping in to say hi. Hello. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. All right, guys. We are going to be doing step lit training um, and upper body pyramid. So the way it's going to work, you're going to want, if you have it, obviously this is just the equipment that you have. If you don't have it, you're not going to worry about it. Um, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Five sets. So you're going to want, again, only if you have it, you're going to want five different sets of hand weights. Hey, Evelyn, five different sets of hand weights. This is the way an upper body pyramid works, an ascending upper body pyramid. Uh, the reason you want to do pyramid training is you're going to cover strength, muscular endurance, hey Jen, and hypertrophy. So you're going to really um, get some muscular endurance, strength, and hypertrophy, where you get little micro tears and you go in and, and you get stronger. So if you have it, again, if you don't have it, hey JP, hi from Chris Dunn, Oklahoma, hello. So again, um, you're going to want your step bench, one or two risers, it's up to you. I'm going to do steady state cardio, I'm going to do some low impact interval training. Hey Diane, you ready from New Jersey? Hey, I got five different sets of hand weights. So you guys got to listen to me. Hey Emily, in the upper, in the upper pyramid training, um, we begin with 16 reps. That's your warm up set. Hey Pam, then we go to 12 reps, 10 reps, 8 reps, and 6 reps. Your 6 reps is going to be your heaviest, 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 heaviest weight of the class, okay? So we begin with 16 reps. That is your warm up set. It's always your light weight. And then you go a little bit heavier from there. I understand you guys may not have um, five sets of hand weights. Hey, Gloria. Um, that's okay if you don't have it. Hey, Manuela. So if you don't have it, you can just keep doing the repetitions with the weights that you have, okay? So I have the perfect push-up as well. Hey, Nora from British Columbia, Canada. Got some good music for us today. All right, so again, this is upper body pyramid training. We're going to have five sets. You begin with your lightest weight, your warm-up weight, and then you go, hey, Paula, from Manchester, England. You'll be doing this tomorrow. Oh yeah, oh, I'm so glad you're noticing a difference. This is a beautiful, oh, you, they arrive tomorrow, Judy, your push-up stands. Hey, can everybody hear me and the music pretty well? Oh, we've got 26 people in the room. Okay, so look at me, look at all my weights right there. Good, Marsha? I have 15s all the way to threes. Make sure you get your light hand with, I have my barbell set at 17 each. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing, but look at my weight. They're all readily available. They're all right there. Got it? So you need to set your room up accordingly. Okay. Oh man, it's time to rock and roll. Five minute warm up, then we'll get the step bench and then we'll do the uh, cardio training, okay? So let's do a body check-in. Today, I'll be honest with you. My body is feeling, I'm okay. I'm not super high, I'm not super low. So I'm not gonna do an extreme push today. I myself will be conservative. So right now, do your body check-in. You have the rest of the day that you have to continue. Don't zap all your energy. Not worth it. So let me get my video camera on. We're gonna rock and roll in our warm up. All right. I'm just turning on all my timers, you guys. Gotta have timers for everything. All right. Basic and very simple today. Okay, are you ready, Jacqueline? I'm ready. 
So remember, we're just gonna warm it up right now. We just got five minutes. Give me a deep breath in. Oh, and an exhale. One more time, you gotta set the tone for the class. Big inhale. March it right to left. All right. It's time for me to kind of get my mental zone of working out. Go ahead, step touch. Oh, what am I doing? Step touch. That's what I want for you guys. Got some nice, uplifting, motivating music. Give me a hamstring curl. Whoo, just wanna warm it up before we get into that step bench, you guys. We're only gonna use a step bench for cardio training. It's not step aerobics. You don't need to get scared. Start pulling those arms back. Big smile on your face. The key to this workout is to make sure you have your weights in front of you. Make sure you have a mat. I don't want you guys having to run all around your room constantly to get your equipment. Now, if you don't have all these weights available, no big deal, you guys. Work with what you have. Tap your toe. Right here. Give me that nice reach. Woo. Now, cross your body. You're gonna notice my warm-ups are kind of really similar. <laughs> it's because they're good. They really warm up the whole body. Step touch, here we go. Give me that little chest press. Now we're just warming up, so we're not pushing. Just saying, hello, body. We have some work ahead of us. Woo, again, really want to spend that extra time warming up that upper body. Again, we're going to do ascending pyramid training with that upper body. Give me heels, give me heels. Oh, there we go. It seems like sometimes on Mondays I'm a little off. We're going to lunge it to the right, lunge it left, right, left, right, left, right. How about one more each side? Let's step touch. Give me that chest press. Right here. So pyramid training is good for strength, muscular endurance, and hypertrophy. You cover so much ground with pyramid training. It's another way to challenge your body. Give me heels. Now press. You guys are getting nice and warm now. So we use pyramid training to build muscle and also to give us variety in our muscle training, right? You gotta challenge your body in order to change your body. This is just another take on the challenge. Tap your toes. There we go. Whew, I gotta wake up today. Kinda just really a little bit lethargic, people. <laughs> this is my low energy right here. Take it over your head. Woo! This is it. We are going to grab our step bench. Not yet. Why don't you squat down and up? Little. Shallow. Shallow. Four more and we grab our step bench. In four. In three. In two. Grab your step bench. Put it long ways. I'm only using one riser today. March, once you get that step bench. March. Right here. Basic right with the knee, basic left. I have one riser, basic right. Okay, four, three, I'm gonna get us all together. Step knee, start with the right, start with the left. Give me the right, give me the left. 
right? Right here. So we're beginning that steady state cardio. Hup. So steady state, just warming it up. We're continuing the warm up here. Arms or no arms. Each exercise is one minute right here. Listen to me. In 10 seconds, we're gonna leave our right foot on the bench. We're gonna do a fast left knee, 40 seconds. Go ahead right now, leave the right foot on the bench, kick. We're starting already. First lit training, low impact interval intensity training. 40 seconds, right here. Sculpting and toning in through that right leg. Core nice, solid and tight. You go as fast or as slow as you wanna go. There's no timing. It's just 40 seconds of work. You have 10 seconds left. Oh yeah, we're getting in it quick. Getting in it quick. In four, in three, left to right. Left to right, march. All right, so it's a 40 second push, 20 seconds to active recovery. We're gonna go back into steady state cardio. We're gonna step left, left foot lead, <laughs> left knee, then that right knee. Here we go. Steady state cardio, right here. Yeah, playing. Doing one minute steady state cardio. One minute, lit training. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds, active recovery. Whoo, for 15 minutes. You can do anything for 15 minutes. Boom, the steady state cardio, 60 seconds. Now, if you're getting tired, I would not use my arms. I would not use a step. I would not go as fast. You do not have to stick to my pace. 10 seconds. We're gonna leave the left foot on the bench. Right knee as fast as you can. In five seconds, four, three, two, next one, leave it up. 40 seconds. Right here. It's as fast or as slow as you wanna go, right? 40 seconds, lip push. Whew. I know this is the beginning of the workout, so you may not be able to push too much. It's up to you. Boom. Last 10 seconds to push right here. Sculpt and tone through that left leg. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Come on. And four, and three. Right to left, march. Right, left, right here. Now in 10 seconds, steady state cardio. All we're gonna do, tap on, tap off. We're gonna just do jack arms when we tap on the bench. One minute, here we go. Right here, give me those arms. Listen, you can use two risers or three risers, right? Up to you. Remember, you did your body check-in in the beginning of class, and you just said to yourself, how am I feeling? How's my energy level? I still have the rest of the day. How hard, how light do I want to push? So for me, that's one riser. For you, it may be two risers. You may want a weighted vest. You may want weighted gloves. Your class, your options. Now, in 10 seconds, we're gonna go over our bench and back. Stay low impact or jump it. 40 seconds, lit training. In four, in three, you get to go over. You can walk or you can hop it through the center. That's hit training. Now this is low, low impact, lit training. 
Fast, fast. This is hit, jumping through the center. 20 seconds. Your timing, your pace, your workout. Last 10 seconds. Come on, you guys. Give me that push. My energy's coming up. I'm getting less foggy. Four, three, left to right, march. Whew. Yes. Breathe it through. Breathe it through. Got something dust or something. All right, 10 more seconds. We're gonna step touch. Left foot on. Lateral movement with jack arms. Steady state cardio. Ready? Go. Steady state. No huffing. No puffing. Wow. Four more minutes. We hit our first ascending upper pyramid training. Whoo! Right now I'm playing with your steady state cardio fuel system. <sighs> and your higher impact, almost anaerobic fuel system. So we all have in common, stepping our entire foot on the bench, entire foot off the bench, core nice solid and tight, shoulders melted away from your ears. You're decreasing that range of motion if you need to. 10 seconds, you can low impact, go over, or high impact jump it in four, in three, your choice, 40 seconds. Come on. Now remember, this is not beat driven. It's as fast as you can get over and back. This is your low impact interval training. Here's your high. Hop it through. Hop it through. I'm gonna stay low. Up to you. Now when I do lit training, you do hit training. Come on. Last 10 seconds. Oh yeah. What a way to start class. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. March it. Right, left, right and left. Woo. Right here. Active recovery. 10 more seconds. Okay. All we're going to do two knees. Up, tap, down, and over. Looks like this. You're still marching. And then one knee. Over. Two knees. Over. One knee. Come with me. Don't worry about the beat. This is not choreography. Beat driven. Two knees. Take it over. One knee. Steady state cardio. Two knees. Right here, take it over, one knee. Two knees, just steady state, you guys. Take it over, one knee. Over, two knees. Grab that second riser if you know you're gonna want it for the next cardio session. Whoo! Now, stay where you're at, doing what you're doing. Let me show you, next, we're pushing. Hopping over, and then coming up. 40 seconds, go. So push, go over as quick as you can. Push, you can add a hop. Look, low impact, right here. Not beat driven. So it's that one knee, and then you can push if you want. So over as quick as you can. 20 more seconds. We're gonna go into upper body. Pyramid training, hit training, hop. So as the knee drives up, you hop. Your choice. Or stay low. Go as fast as you can. Come on. And four, and three. Put your step bench off to the side if you feel it's a safety hazard. I will. Grab a mat if you feel you're gonna want it for push-ups for your knees. Okay, biceps, W curls. Sometimes we will go to the beat, sometimes we will not. I'll start with fives. This is your warm up set. Let's get that ascending pyramid going on. You can march, heels, 
W curl. Four, three, 16. We're gonna go to tempo. One, warm up set. Two, three. This is your warm up set. Four, five, six, seven. W curl, core nice and tight. Eight more, eight, seven. You gotta push, six. That last rep, you gotta go to fatigue. Yeah, you warmed up. Oh, go to your next higher set. 12 repetitions. That's eight. Feet hip width apart. Shoulders melted. Now we're gonna go up, but we're not gonna go to the beat. In four, three, we have 12. We went up. One, two, working those biceps. Three, got 12. Four, this is your muscular endurance. Five, strength. Six, seven. If you're not pushing, you better have those weights. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Grab your heavier weights. We have 10 reps. For me, jumping up to 10. All right, the rest as we go heavier is not be driven. You're gonna go with me. 10, here we go. One, two, as you get heavier, you gotta go slower. Three, four, five. These, did I say W curls? Six, these are not W curls. Seven, eight, we got to go to 10, right? Two more. Nine and 10, heavier weights. We have eight, going up to 12. These are full rotation curls. I don't, W curls are like this. Yes, I caught my error. Full rotation bicep curls. We have eight, go to my feet. One, as you go heavier, you go slower. Two, three, four, Got eight, five, come on, six, seven, one more, and eight. Are you ready? Grab your heaviest weight. Six, here we go. One, I have 15. Two, three, four, uh, five and six. All right, hammer curls. Let's hit it. Okay, you got 16. Tempo, warm it up. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Same thing with hammer curls. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight more, come on, eight. This is your warm-up set. Seven, six, core nice, solid and tight. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Oh, warm-up set is always your first one. You ready? 12 repetitions. Go up and wait. Set it back. In four, three, we're not gonna go to the beat. Here we go. One, just go with me. Two, we got 12. Three, four, Five, six, seven. This is your muscular endurance. Eight, nine. You can do it. 10, 11, and 12. 10 reps. Don't worry about the beat. As we go heavier, you do not worry about the beat. You let me guide the class. Back, shoulders melted away. Split stance. 10, one, two, three, four, we got 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's go up, we have eight repetitions. In four, three, my tempo gets slower. One, got eight, two, Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Heavier. We got six. Oh, blowing this out of the park. Nice and slow. We got six. One. Control it down. Two, core tight. Three. Four. Five. Biceps done. Triceps next. Sixteen. One or two weights. I'm starting with eight. Tricep overhead extensions. Let's go. One, one or two weights, I don't care. Two, three, I gotta rock and roll, guys. Got a lot to cover. Four, five, six, seven, eight more, one or two weights, I don't care. Eight, we can go to the tempo here. Seven, six, it's when we get heavier. We won't go to the tempo. Four, three, two, 12 repetitions, heavier weight. So I'm going with my 10 right here. In four, three, go to my tempo. We have 12, one, we got 12. Two, just make sure you're going up in weight. Three, my tempo. Four, five, six, core nice, solid and tight. Whew. Seven, got 12, you can do it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, get your next heavier weight. We have 10 repetitions. In four, three, ready my tempo. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, <sighs> seven, you can do it. Eight. Nine and ten. Eight repetitions. Come on, you guys. You only have one more set after this. My tempo. Are you ready? Eight repetitions. Let's go slow. Eight. Seven. Oh, I'm grimacing. Six. Five. Four. Three, come on, tricep work. Two, and one. Woo, okay, this is all I have my heaviest weight. So I'm gonna use this for my six repetitions. Are you ready? Nice and slow, elbows point to the ceiling, core tight, nice and slow. One, come on, you only got six. Two, three. Four, five, I'm ready, I'm ready, are you? And six. All right, you guys, chest flies. Grab a mat, you're gonna hit the ground. Time is running short. 16, chest flies. Starting with lightweight for me, I'm gonna start with my fives. All right, chest press, make sure you have your weights by you. We move quick. Tempo in four, three, Fly out and up, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. You can do it, this is your warm up set. Seven, six, five, four, control it. Three, this is your fly, two, and one. Heavier weight. All right, we have 12 repetitions. I'm going up to eight. Now you're gonna go to my tempo. We're gonna go down and up. We start to go slower as we grab the heavier weight. Ready, here we go. Down, one. Down, two, we have 12. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Down seven, down eight, down nine, down 10, down 
11, down, 12. Now we have 10 repetitions, you guys. In four and three, ready, go to my tempo. Down, one. Down, two, see how I slow it down as we get heavier? Down, three, control. Down, four, we have 10. Down, five. Down, six. Down, seven. Down, eight. Down, nine, chest work, one more. Down, 10. All right, now we have eight repetitions. I'm going up. With each set, you guys, I'm going up in weights. So I'm right there with you. Even slower. In four, three, we have eight sets. <coughs> Here we go. Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Lift three. Down. Lift four. Four more. Down. Lift five. Down. Lift six. Two more. Down, lift seven, one more. Down, lift eight, heaviest weight. Six repetitions. Are you ready? Really slow. All right, let's go. Down, lift one, six repetitions. Down, lift two. Down. Lift three, you should be almost at fatigue. Down, lift four. Oh, I'm at fatigue. Down, lift five, one more. Down, slow and controlled. Lift it up, grab your perfect push-ups if you have them. If not, you're gonna get around. We're gonna superset with push-ups. Down two, up two. Let's go for six. In four, three, down two, up two for six. Down, two, up, one. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, three. Down, two, up, four. Down, two, up, five. Down, two, up, six. All right, you guys, we're gonna single eight push-ups, and then we're gonna grab light weights. Get ready, and four, and three, eight singles, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab really super light hand weights. I'm gonna superset our triceps. I have three pounds in my hands. Up. So let's go. So up, down. Not going to the beat. Right here. Supersetting those tricep kickbacks. We're gonna grab our step bench in 30 seconds. Superset, go as fast as you can. Right here. We're gonna hit that step, lift or hit cardio. But you have 30 seconds. Hinging from the hip, wiggle your toes, pop your head out of the turtle shell, shoulders mounted away from your ears, pinky to the ceiling, control it down, wiggle those toes, hinge forward from the hip, nice flat back, right here. Super setting those triceps, getting that burn. Come on, come on. Super glue those elbows to your rib cage. Four, three, water break, water break. All right, active recovery. Okay, you guys ready to get back into cardio? Okay, so what we're gonna do on this one, we're gonna take our step bench back, head above the heart, walking around right here. Make sure your bricks are on your step bench. Woo! First exercise, Charleston kick. Let's go. 40 seconds. Now, I tricked us. We're in a lit training right here. Push. 
You got 30 seconds to push. Come on. First five minutes of the cardio section, we're gonna push that lit training. You can add a hop. Come on, I'm working all your cardiovascular system. This is as fast or as slow as you wanna go. Your timing, your push. Left to right march. All you're gonna do, Charleston kick on that other side. You have four more exercises. Then we're gonna go into steady state cardio for five minutes. In four, three, push, 40 seconds. You are halfway in your class. So this is your last block of cardio to push. All whole foot on the bench, whole foot off the bench, core nice, solid and tight. Go as fast or as slow as you wanna push. Your call, your call. You have 10 seconds. Remember, it's 40 seconds of pushing. Right to left. Watch me. Here's your low impact, you're marching. So, it's out, in, down. If you want it low impact, out, step in, step it down. If me, you hop, step down. Lit or hit training. 40 seconds, go. Step down that right foot. You got it, that's your hit training. Low impact. Step it out, step it in, step it down. Step it out, in, down. Hit training. Pop it up, step it down. 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds. I have one riser. March it. Left to right. Active recovery. Low impact. Left foot leads. Out, out, in, in. Step it down. Watch me one more time. Out, out, in, in. Step it down. If you're hopping up, stepping down, left lead. And four, and three. Pick your way, here we go. If you're with me, step it down, left lead. Not be driven as fast or as slow as you wanna go, low impact. Step it out, in and down. Step it out, in and down. Whole foot on the bench, everyone. Whole foot off the bench. Proper body mechanics, 10 seconds. Everyone march it right to left. Last push, then steady state cardio. I know that heart rate is high. Everyone, right here. Low impact, arms up and down like this. Go as fast as you can. High impact, let's go. Come on. Low impact. Right here, no hopping, no jumping. Last 20 seconds. Pick your level, pick your choice. Last 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Right to left, 20 seconds, active recovery. Now, you're gonna hang with me for about one, two, three, four, five, seven minutes, steady state cardio. Heart rate's gotta come down. Hang with me for seven minutes, steady state cardio. Feel good cardio, all right? Thumbs up. You got this. Basic 
right. Don't worry. No hard moves. So whole foot on the bench, whole foot off the bench. So got that? Take it up, back wide. So when you step it back, step it back wide. Step it back wide. Step it up, whole foot on the bench. Don't let those heels dangle. You want to keep that ankle joint nice and happy. When the foot dangles on that step bench, you could possibly get injured and sprain your ankle. Step it up and then go wide back. And four and three, corner knees, corner knees. That's all, corner knees. That's it. Look on the ground, corner knees, step knee, step knee. You don't need a step bench to do this. So right here, steady state cardio, no huffing, no puffing. You should be able to hold a conversation just like me. I'm making all the moves, very simple. So we all get it. There we go. Just 60 seconds each move. You got it. Looking good. It's just a corner knee. You step knee, step knee. Yeah, got that? A lot of people get scared when you say you're bringing out that step bench. <laughs> all we're gonna do is three knees and then alternate to the other side. Three knees, and then you step down, other side. Count your knees, sculpting and toning that lower body. Let's add those arms. Steady state cardio right here. Wow, what a feel good portion of class, don't you think? Can you hold a conversation? Let's check in. How is your body's life energy? You still got energy to push? I hope you do. We have shoulder, back, and core coming up. Pyramid style. I know you can do it, look at me. Thumbs up. We're in it together, me and you. I will be 48 in September. I'm rocking it. I'm strong. I'm fit. And so are you. One more, listen to me. Basic left, basic left. So basic left, wide step back. So you go on the bench and then a really wide step back. Come on, doing it all on that left side. What you do on that right foot lead, you gotta get on that left foot, left foot lead. It's all about muscle balance, right? Yeah, come on. Oh man, I love this music. Whew. You guys are doing so great. Steady state cardio, feel good cardio, big smile on your face. You are strong, you are fit. It does not matter your age. Love your body, eat clean, move your body, show it some love. Corner knees, corner knees. Now, if you like the corner knees, stay in the corner knees or hamstring curl. Let's give that hamstring curl, heel to your butt. Let's work the hamstring and the glutes, yeah? How are you doing? Are you feeling good? Say, yeah. Oh yeah, are you giving me that high five? I'll take that high five from you. And I'm gonna smack oh, back. A high five to you. Come on, Judy. Come on, Nicole, Jacqueline. We got it going on. Feel that life energy force. We're like a Duracell battery. We're like that bunny. We can go on and on and on. Yeah. Woo, two more, two more. Remember the triple knees? Three knees, here we go. Other side. Now watch me. That's just a play on the triple knee. One, bounce, 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 knee. 
We call this a jean short. If you don't like that, stick with the knees. Right here, stay right here. If not, knee, bounce, 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 knee. We call this a jean short, but it's like a triple knee. Same pattern. Yeah. Oh. Just having some fun. So you start with the knee. Bounce, 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 knee. Knee, one, two, three, knee. Knee, bounce, 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 knee. Oh yeah. Ooh. One more each side, please. One more on this side. Listen to me. Basic right, then basic left. Basic right, basic left. Last minute. Are you guys ready? We have three last lit pushes or hit pushes. Hit, you jump. Lit, you don't. Whew. This is our last part of steady state cardio. Yeah, you got it. Now move it over here to the left side of your bench. All we're gonna do when we do our first lit, we're gonna go over the bench and back. And four, and three, right to left, march. All we're gonna do, hop it over or walk it over. You have 10 seconds. Look at me. Last three lit or hit pushes. Not beat driven, fast or slow as you wanna go. Ready, go. Now, low impact, right here. No jumping. High impact, <sighs> jump through the center. Let's go. You have 10 seconds. You get 20 seconds of active recovery. Give me five more seconds, you guys. Come on. Pick a side on your bench. Pick a leg. Pick a lead leg. Okay, low impact people, you're on a lead leg and you're straddling the bench. Others, more hit, you're running. All right? And four, and three, 40 seconds, push. Now lower impact, right here. All right, higher impact. You're running as quick as you can. You only have one more push after this. That's it. Whole foot on the bench. Whole foot off the bench. Come on. Last push, let's go. Use those arms if you want, or put them beside your hip. Up to you, last 10 seconds. Come on. Remember your lead leg, because you're gonna switch. And four, and three. March on the bench. Other lead leg. Try a couple down and up. See how that feels on that other lead leg. 10 seconds. Last push for cardio. In four, in three, 40 seconds. Last go. Now low impact, just down and up. Just what I'm doing. Got it? Higher impact, you go fast extremely fast. 20 seconds, guys. We will keep our step bench around. We're gonna use it to lay on if you want. Last 10 seconds. Last five seconds. March. Step touch. All right, you guys, we're gonna go into single row. Single row. You're gonna start with your light weight. Heart rate's coming down. Grab a small swig of water. You're moving. You're moving. Small swig of water. Single arm row. First exercise. Remember your first, 
Exercise is 16, which is simply warm it up. Pick an arm, any arm. I don't care. I have an eight pound to start in four, three, 16. Tempo, one, two, three. This is your warm up set, remember? Five, six, seven, eight. Core nice, solid and tight. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Working, latissimus dorsi. Rhomboids working back. Remember your first set is your warm up set. Let's go heavier. All right, you guys, we have 12. We can keep tempo on this. All right, get ready. And four, and three, ready, go. 12, 11, I'm gonna try to keep tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go heavier. Ten, and four, and three, ten. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh man, I'm popping this up. Three, two, and one. Let's go heavier. We have eight. I'm on my 15, so I could probably be doing 30s, you guys. I just don't have the hand weight. Four, three, eight. Here we go. Eight, seven. Work with what you have, like I am. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. If you have the weight, go heavier. We have six. If I move too fast because you do have the heavier weights, then by all means, go at your own pace. Back can take a lot. Last six, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, if you're like me, you don't have like super heavy weights like you need, try just working with medium, heavy, heavy. So your last three sets of 10, eight, and six, use your heavy weight. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, our first set, switching arms. First set, tempo 16, warm up. Other arm, ready, go. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, core tight. Six, five, four, three, two. Now you know we have 12 repetitions. 12 repetitions coming up. We're gonna keep the tempo in four, in three, 12. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have 10 sets. Are you ready? I think we're gonna go to tempo, but you slow down if you need to. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. We have eight. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Pop your head out of the turtle shell. We're gonna go a little slower. Eight repetitions. I have a 15 in my hand. Here we go. One, two, that's better. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Six repetitions. If you have the weight, grab it. If not, you would just stick from your higher medium to heavy range. And four, last six. Ready? My tempo. One, two, three, 
two, three, four. You should be at total fatigue. Five and six. Put it down. Guys, if you're not at the total fatigue, by the time you, you hit six, you need to go heavier. Your warm up weight maybe needs to be a little heavier up front. Like I realized when I did my back, my warm up weight should have been like an eight or a 10. And I needed to move ascend and get heavier from there. Make it work for you. You can grab two hand weights at one time. Okay, we have to hit the shoulders. All right, row. You got 16. What's your starting weight? We're gonna single the tempo. We're gonna row to nipple line. We got 16, warm up weight. One, two, three, four. I gotta move, guys, we don't have a lot of time. Six, seven, eight. Working the shoulders, again, eight. Warm up weight, seven. Six, core nice, solid and tight. Shoulders, melt it away from your ears. Last two. One, let's go up from here. We have 10. All right, so shoulders melted away from your ears. I like that split stance for me. You only go to nipple height. Ready, don't go to the tempo. One, two, we got 12, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We got 10. Go to my tempo. Here we go. One, not slower. Two, three. Four, five, whew, six, seven, eight, only to nipple height, nine, ten. Okay, you could always pick up one weight. If you don't want to, you can always pick up one weight. Okay, we have eight, and then we have six. So I gotta go back to my 12. All right, you ready? Okay, let's go for eight. One, to nipple line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Oh man, why not? I don't know, we got six. Nice and slow, ready, go. One, I got 17 on each side. Two, three, come on, four, only the nipple line. Core tight, five, six. Grab your light hand weights. Ouchie mama, ouchie mama. Okay, I'm grabbing my threes. We're gonna get a little rotator cuff super set in. Now your foot can be on the bench or off. We go down and up. Shoulder and elbow, same line. Palm down, palm up. Here we go, 16. Don't worry about the beat, 15. 14, 13, rotate your cuff work. 12, shoulders melted away from your ears, core tight. 11, 10, 9, 8, you can do it, come on. 7, 6, 5, nice, slow and controlled. 4, Three, two, and one. All right, you can put your light hand weights up. I said I'd get a little core. Now you're gonna watch me if you want a mat. 
You're gonna have a mat to cushion your arms, if that makes you feel better. If you like to cushion, by all means cushion. We're gonna walk down, down, up, up and switch. So, if you want a cushion for your hands, feel free. All right, so get out in the plank. Your feet in four, in three, pick a leg, here's the count. Down, down, up and switch, one, going for 16. Up, two, switch lead legs each time. Three, shoulders are nice and stable, get them back. Four, down, down, up, five, down, down, up, six, down, down, up, seven, down, down, eight more, that's it, we stretch, down, down, up, one, down, down, up, two, down, down, up, three, down, down, four more, and we're done, down, down, up, one, down, down, up, two, down, down, up, three, down, down, up, four, come on your knees, child pose, let me switch the music, let me switch that music for you guys, amazing, oh, come on, all right, you guys, you're in that child's pose, so walk your way up. Oh, wowsy, wowser, wowser. Big inhale. And exhale, take your feet wide. Next one, we're gonna do spinal mobility. Inhale, roll it down. And roll it up. Three more times, roll it down, spinal mobility. Roll it up. Two more times. Melt it down. Roll up one vertebra at a time. One more time. Roll it down. Roll it up. Take your feet as wide as a step bench. One hand in the center. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Spinal rotation. While you're here, lean. Inner thigh, mobility and lengthening. Other side. Woo, great class today, you guys. Give me just a couple more minutes to stretch you and get you out of here. Take it to the center, lengthen through your butt. Take the other arm, spinal mobility, rotation. Hands on top of your thighs, roll it up. One vertebra at a time. Shoulder rolls back. We did a lot of upper body work. Woo, yeah, baby. All right, let's go ahead, hit that shoulder. Don't grab your elbow joint, grab on top or below. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Swoop it up and around. Get a nice tricep stretch. Sit up tall, crown of your head growing tall to the ceiling. Grab that other arm. I wanna be at the ocean right now. Yeah, all right, take it up. All right, take that right foot behind the left, curve over to the side, IT band stretch, lateral stretch, make a fist with your hand. All right, step the left foot behind the right, up and over, make a fist with your right and left hand, open up, feel the opening. Interlace your fingers. Okay, you guys, if you want to just stay here, go ahead. If you have that flexibility, bend from the hip. Chest expansion, shoulder opening. 
If not, just stay right where you're at. Perfect for today. Soft bend in both knees. Come on up, hands to stay behind, right ear, right shoulder. Shoulders down and away from your ears, left ear, left shoulder. One more time, right ear, right shoulder. Shoulders drop down and away from your ears when you stretch. Left ear, left shoulder. Head center, deep breath in. And exhale, guys, we're all done. Wow, 531 calories for me. Let me turn off my video camera. Let's chat for just a minute before y'all head out, if you can. Let's do a quick check-in and chat. I have 27 in the room. All right, guys, what'd you think? We had to move quick. We had to move fast. Very basic, very simple, nothing hard about it. You want to make it harder, you can wear your weighted vest. Oh, Judy, my upper body is shaking, and we ended with my favorite cool-down music. The cardio was amazing, 734 calories. Amazing, Judy. Kathy, I'm so glad you liked it. Evelyn, wow, that's what I call a workout. Love the sweaty strength class. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, walk and we rock and rolled. I mean, we were working muscular endurance. We were working strength. It was amazing. Me on the plants. <laughs> I shade it. Whoo, yeah, awesome work. Hey, uh, Wednesday, boot camp your way number five, lower body shred. Since today, hey, Tanya, hey, Kathy. So did most of you have weights that you could go up or down? Hey, Patrice, um, Judy, you started with your vest but took it off midway. Yeah, Jen, oh, thank you. Pam, it was a great upper body challenge. Oh, I love step cardio, Pam. There's just nothing like the most simple, basic step cardio out there, right? Evelyn, so um, after this COVID is over, hey, Miss Robin, um, I'm going to be purchasing, hey, Jacqueline. Yeah, same here, Jacqueline, I need more weights. Um, Patrice sweating, Kathy, yeah. So I really need 20 25 and 30 pound weights. Oh, Judy, you have five to 20. Ah, oh, you lucky dog. Jen, you only have three sets of weights. Okay, Jen, you could always um, awesome workout. Hey, Nora, Pam, drenched with sweat, so am I. You know what, Tanya? I do have the adjustable dumbbells. I have the Bowflex. Uh, my son dropped them on my garage floor. Um, so now my husband is fixing them. But I'll tell you guys, the ideal is a, p a set of Bowflex. Yes, they are expensive. Um, oh, you have 25, 30s, and 35, Judy. But here's the, here's um, the, so I do have the Bowflex and I have the weights. I can't fit that much weight due to the lower back issues, Robin. Yeah, that's awesome, but that Robin, that you modify and you do what works for you because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. So, when I'm doing pyramid training, I do prefer hand weights over the bow flex because the bow flex, I got to click, 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 click. So when this is all over, I am, um, oh, you got the power block, Pam? Awesome for you. Yeah, I got the bow flex. It's the exact same thing. But again, my son broke it. And right now it's very difficult to get the parts to fix it. So my husband's an engineer. So he has friends that can cast stuff. So he's working... Oh, you have welder? Awesome, Tanya. Yeah, I know them too. Um, but I pref so what I'm going to do anyway, I have the 15s. As soon as I can purchase them, they're just not in the stores, I'm going to get a set of 20s, 25s, and 30s. And that will round me off for all future pyramid classes. But if you're like me and you just had the weights that you have, you make it work, right? So on my back, I realized, okay, I'm just going to do 12 repetitions at 12, you know, 12 pounds, 10, 8, 6. I'll use all my 15. So that's another way to fatigue it. You have to play around and you have to mess around with what equipment you do have available to you. Don't ever feel bad that you don't have the equipment. Don't ever feel bad that you don't have the money to get the equipment. That's not what it's about. You're here. You're moving. You're moving. You make 
you just make it work for you and the equipment that you do have for you. And you just don't worry about the rest, okay? You showed up, you're moving, you're strength training, you're getting your body better, and really that's all that matters. So maybe in the future for birthdays and anniversaries, you tell people you want weights and that's what they get you, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, Kathy, we're a team. It's uh, been a really, it's been really fun teaching you guys the live classes. Oh yeah, Judy, I love pyramid training. It's really good uh, for muscular endurance, for strength, hy hypertrophy, for like getting those little micro tears, and then so the protein synthesis can go in there and make our muscles even stronger. Um, I would not exclusively pyramid train all the time. I would just mix it up. And that's what um, I love about our workouts that we do together is week to week, we are constantly mixing it up. Sometimes it's light hand weights. Sometimes it's pyramid training. Sometimes it's barbell step rebounder. So that's a key is for me, a lot of people, a lot of people, women over 40, you don't have to be over 40, but women over 40, they always ask me how I have like my six pack abs. Of course, it's when I'm not bloated. Um, <laughs> and what I do, you know, they say you have a beautiful dancer's body. What do you do to stay in shape? I truly watch what I eat. I stay hydrated. I, I really do. I watch my caffeine intake. That's for Miss Corey. She kind of helps re-inspire me. I do eat clean. Um, it doesn't mean I don't go eat stuff, but what I found that worked for my body once I hit my mid thirties and up was cross training cross training, one day kickboxing, one day step aerobics and upper body, the next day cycling and core, the next day um, boot camp lower body, the next day Pilates for posture and yoga, the next day getting on an elliptical or getting on a Stairmaster. Um, so I do weights, I'm just always switching up how I do weights and I'm always switching up how I do my cardio. So I hope that's making sense because that has been for me the biggest metabolic um, booster to take my body to that next level. Um, yeah, Pam, I, I, and it's challenging in variety, but for us women, I do believe as we get older, it's not necessarily about going heavier. Um, it's just about, I think, metabolically because our hormones are changing and you know we're changing our life I'm gonna be 48 and I can feel these hormones and everything um, cross training some days heavy some days light some days Pilates some days just an overall well-rounded cross training um, is is the way I keep my body in its best shape and that's another way I help my body stay injury prevention free is I really do Pilates for posture every week I do some sort of yoga, I do some sort of stretch, I get the heavy weights in for that bone density weight bearing we need. Um, I get the light weights in because they work the small stabilizing muscle groups a lot better, get the balance in. So if you have other women, maybe other women um, are on here that are over, um, that are 40, you don't have to be 40 and over, it's just general. You know, what are, oh hello, it looks like Haley's gaming. Um, you know, what do you guys do? Judy, same for you. Cross training with you is absolutely the answer for you. Yeah, I found, you know, I hit my late 30s. I, I just couldn't do the same thing. I had to cross train, not killing my body, but always switching it up. Oh, it's hard at 57, Kathy, but you're doing it. Jacqueline, you're in your 50s and you've never felt better. Awesome. Yeah, that's a key. Each day, I just try to always give you guys different workouts so you're working your body in, in different patterns so it's not so repetitive so you're not prone to injuries same for you Pam cross training works for you yeah and Judy your food yeah and and that's what I tell all the women that are starting to hit hit this age I'm like they're seeing plateaus they can't take off the weight and I always tell them I'm like you have got to sit and and watch your eating you have to journal it my fitness pal you got to get rid of the sugar and you know, you've got to get really diligent about your eating. And along with that, you know, you may want to try implementing um, a feel-good body cross-training 
type workout style. So like for me, Mondays and Wednesdays are my real push days. Um, and Tuesdays, hey Cecile, and Tuesdays, Thursdays are my lighter days. Um, super important. Yeah, Tanya, I agree. You enjoy working out with me? I agree. Who you work out with, it, you've got to enjoy it, whoever it's with. Yeah. Wh whatever instructor. The worst is you get an instructor and you're like, oh, they suck. They don't know what they're doing. Are they going to give me a warm up? Dude, they didn't even stretch me. Have you ever gone to a class like that? And you're like, oh, ouch. That's not a good class. <laughs> hey, and I did tell you, Wednesday, boot camp your way with a lower body focus. Yeah, yes, Jacqueline, something different really keeps it fun and challenging. Yes, yes, yes. I am extremely, if I never taught group fitness, the way I work out now, I would constantly be working whether you did the class with me or not. You had two-year plateau duties, started working. Oh, thank you, Haley. Started working out, and you dropped eight pounds. Yeah. It's about loving your body, and it's always about, at the beginning of class, always do a check-in. Oh, you love variety, Nora? Yep. Oh, you love boot camp, Evelyn? Awesome. Hey, um, so it's going to be lower body. So you guys are going to use your fabric bands on Wednesday, and you're going to use heavy weights. Um, but the key is, oh, we'll hit kickboxing too. Don't worry. The key is always at the beginning of every workout, like today, my energy was lower. I needed to push. I needed to work out. But I have the rest of my day. I have a heap load of laundry and cleaning and other crap I got to do. So I didn't want to waste what I call my life energy for the day. So I kind of did a check-in in the beginning of class. And I made sure... I knew how much energy I had for the day because I firmly don't believe when you work out, you should not be depleting your energy. You should, um, no, on Wednesday is boot camp your way. So everybody gets to pick their own, um, their own cardio format on Wednesday. I can do a little bit of kickboxing, but that might be too hard if I'm trying to tell everybody, switch your exercise next minute, next minute. Um, I'll figure something out, but I don't think Wednesday is going to be boot camp. I mean, no, I don't think it's going to be kickboxing. Uh, Wednesday, you know, the boot camp is you pick your cardio equipment, rebounder, step, bozu ball, stability ball, whatever you want. So you can do kickboxing moves if you want. And then we're coming together in the middle for lower body. You're going to want hand weights. Um, if you have knee issues, you're going to want a stability ball. So you can do wall stability ball squats. A lot of people are telling me they have knee issues, and I am really telling you before Wednesday, get your butt to Target or to Walmart and buy a stability ball. They're like $9.99 to $12.99. It's a beautiful investment for your home gym. So I think, honestly, on Wednesday, I'm going to do a high step and step. You know, like I'm going to do a, a high step stoop because it's leg day, so I'm going to... Um, yeah, yeah, Judy, it's boot camp your way. So that's where all the rebounders and elliptical people, cyclists, all of us come together. And we pick our own cardio, and then we um, come together for the middle part. So fabric bands, uh, weights. Yeah, I'm going to grab that high step because uh, Wednesday we're doing legs. So, oh, you have one, Kathy? You know what? If you have one and it's a package, I think it comes with a little blower that you can um, ask them to blow it up before Wednesday. Ask them to blow it up before Wednesday. So when I do my squats, you guys, on Wednesday, I'm going to be using my stability ball for the squats and for the lunges for me. Again, you don't have to have a stability ball and use that, but that is going to be my choice on Wednesday to switch it up. So I will be using my stability ball for my squats and for all oh, Diane, you love boot camp Wednesdays. I know, so do I. I'm going to keep those going. It's very all inclusive, and I love that all of us from all different groups and all different types of equipment can come together and, and get the one workout in, and we can do it our way with our favorite piece of equipment. Um, oh, yes, Kathy. Good. So make sure he, um, that would be really cool if he can blow up that stability ball for you. All right, you guys, I think that's it. Have a beautiful Monday. It's really pretty here in Tennessee for me. So I got a lot of laundry to do. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. So um, you love the wall squats. Yes. It's just another way to train your quads and your lower body in a different way. I have not done wall squats or wall lunges in a while. So that's going to be my format, but it, you don't need to make that uh, your format, you know, as everything we can modify. So any other questions before I take off my beautiful chicas? I can't wait till I travel, you guys. You know me. I am the biggest traveler in the entire world. Oh, have a beautiful day, Judy. Oh, it was a great workout. Uh, Judy, I'll make sure when I have time. Okay, Pam, have a beautiful day. Kathy, have a beautiful day. Nora, have a beautiful day. But Judy, at some point, I will get this um, ascending upper body pyramid just the pyramid sections out um, as its own 30 minute workout. So that will be a good thing as well. So everybody have a beautiful day and I shall see you all Wednesday with your own piece of cardio equipment of your choice and heavy weights and your fabric bands and a mat and a stability ball if you have it. So uh, again, have a beautiful day. And I'll just see you on Wednesday. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Judy.